dang it. Installing some exhaust manifolds today and done all the prep work in terms of uh, sanding the flanges and doing the sealing that's necessary and so forth. Uh, just some things that I would like to point out as you're doing this part of the job right here. It's real easy to get these manifolds switched up. There's two different types. You've got the long manifolds and you got the short manifolds. And there's nothing worse than to get the engine in the car and get it all buttoned up and try to install the exhaust manifolds and find out that you've got the short one in the back and the big one up front, which is kind of intuitive. You know, that's kind of how the headers work, the long ones up front and the shorter squiggly ones in the back, but don't do that, don't do that. It's gonna break your heart. And the way you can tell, well, first of all, that one's long, that one's short, but you also have the nut on top here, which attaches the heat shield to it. The big one always goes in the back. So uh, that's a giveaway. Another thing is that when you're installing the uh, short ones, it's impossible if you happen to take and run these all the way down, not torque them yet, but get them run down all the way to the flange. And then you try to do the same thing to the ones on the bottom here, these two, the back two, you won't be able to do it because the head of the stud is right up next to the casting of the manifold. So just put the nuts on real, you know, just a couple of turns so that you can keep the manifold in place and then get those on the bottom started. Another thing that I relearn occasionally is that, you know, if you go ahead and you put the air pump on first, I get kind of ahead of myself and I get kind of excited to see things hung on the front of the engine. Well, you know what? That one right there is gonna be really hard to get at. You're not gonna be able to get a, a closed end of a combination wrench or a socket on that one. You're gonna to have to use the open end, part of your wrench. And if you got this stuff on there, you're gonna to have to do eighth turn here, go up front, eighth turn there and so forth. So, I mean, it's not a big deal, but if you know that you need to do it, um, I'm just giving you a heads up. Another point that you might find interesting, you'll notice that these manifolds appear to be sandblasted cast iron, but the fact is they are coated with a special coating that is made by a company called POR15, and it's factory manifold gray. And this is a really great product if the idea is to keep your exhaust manifolds from looking rusty over time, which may not be a big deal because it's covered with the heat shield anyway, but you know how some of us are. I'm kind of this way. And <clears throat> these are the manifolds that are off of my track car that were on for about eight years. And uh, then I took them off and put the headers on and you can see that the rust is starting to come through. Fact is, this stuff loves rust. So all you really gotta do is take a brush and put another layer on. And it's good for another however many years. So, yeah. I like it. Well, you're going to have to take my word for this, but this is a week later and it's been fluctuating up from this point, but it's never gotten below this. Fluctuations, of course, are due to differences in temperature in the shop, but I'm calling that a win.